Yo, what's going on, guys? It's G Miners here. And in yesterday's TWAB, we got a massive change to one of the most overpowered things in the entire game, which is Restoration. In Season 19, Restoration is going to be getting nerfed for both the Times 1 and the Times 2 healing rates. Right now, you are watching gameplay of me using Times 2 Restoration on Day 1. So keep in mind, I am 20 levels under the enemy and just tanking and out healing everything. When season 19 rolls around and the nerf goes live, I won't be able to actually compare the original values to the new nerf values, so I wanted to do that now, which is actually possible with some kind of clever workarounds. So just to highlight the nerf itself, Restoration Times 1, which is the weaker healing method that all classes can easily proc with just a healing grenade, is going down from 50 HP per second to 40 HP. So this is going to be exactly in line with a healing rift, just for comparison. And then for times 2, which only Warlocks have access to currently, this is going from 80 HP per second down to 65. But the nice part is I will be going over a way to get this back up to 78 when the nerf rolls out, which is practically the exact same value. I came to a few different places to test out each of these, but the most consistent ended up being at Golgoroth. But first, I did want to showcase just the healing rates for each of the tests we are going to be doing. That way you can see just the healing on the health bar more accurately. So first is going to be a Restoration Times 1 Grenade at 50 HP per second. And some of the massive chunks that we're getting back here is just from the Cure Effect. So keep that in mind. Just look at the healing rate. After this is going to be a Healing Rift. Healing Rifts right now, as I mentioned, are 40 HP per second. So this is the exact same healing rate that Restoration Times 1 will be going down to. Note here that the healing also does speed up right at the end, but that's just because my base recovery kicked in. Now we are on to Restoration Times 2 that we currently have, which is from the Touch of Flame aspect. The cure here is also beefed up, but the rate is going to be 80 HP per second. And then lastly, to simulate what it will be like when the Restoration Times 2 gets its nerf, I combined Well of Life, which is 13 HP per second with Restoration Times 1. So that gives us 63 HP, which is going to be pretty close to the 65 HP per second that Restoration Times 2 will be nerfed to. And the healing here is still extremely quick. So now that you have seen just the base rate of healing, let's go take a look at each of these against the Golgoroth encounter to see how practical they are. Once again, we are starting with just Restoration Times 1 that we currently have. You can see here that we proc it, and then when most of the adds spawn in, we can actually survive a lot. But the downside is we are almost always at around half HP because the healing isn't always strong enough to get us back up. As soon as I hop over and start taking damage from just two of the wizards is when the enemy's damage rate ends up exceeding my own healing rate and I die. So it's definitely strong right now, especially if you don't just sit there and tank damage like I did. But in endgame content like the Legend campaign, where I was 15 under and tanking way more damage, I died much quicker. Comparing that to the value that it will be nerfed to at 40 HP per second, just the Thrall alone almost killed me. That extra 10 HP clearly is going to be the determining factor here that allows me to kind of break even with healing versus my damage taken. So in this case, you can see that as soon as I start taking damage from just the non-trash adds that hit harder, I die super quick. And then once again, going over and testing in the Legendary campaign, I didn't even feel like this was honestly a good test because I just died so quickly here. Restoration times 2 in Golgoroth made me basically invincible, and I can confirm once again that using this in a day 1 raid setting at 80 HP per second was more than viable, especially with the resilience we had in King's Fall. What ended up killing me here was actually the Acolytes that each have Hive Boomers. Eventually, I think like 10 to 15 of these guys just started hammering me, so it's not like you can survive absolutely everything, but in the Legend campaign, I was also able to survive a ton, and that included multiple yellow bars dealing good amounts of damage. So in endgame content, you don't want to obviously just sit there and try to die like I did, but if you did end up getting focused, the current times 2 would be able to keep you alive. And then for the final test, this was to simulate the nerfed times 2 restoration. Again, this was done with just Well of Life and Restoration times 1. And there might have been slightly less adds because I did need to keep getting kills to spawn in Elemental Wells. But even so, this still felt extremely similar to Restoration times 2. 
So I think times two will actually still be super strong when the nerf rolls around next season. I only died when getting focused by all three of the wizards and then some more of the trash ads. And in the legend campaign, it was definitely harder to test because I did need to keep spawning in elemental wells, but getting focused by the knights and ogre here was easily able to kill me compared to the original restoration times two test. So after testing all of this, what I would say is that in a lot of cases, it feels like the 50 HP per second rate seems to kind of be a threshold where I was healing for the same amount I was taking damage, meaning it's dead even and I might not heal as much, but I also shouldn't die. And even though not all of my testing was done in end game content, if you don't just stand still like I did and you're actively ad clearing, I think this 50 HP per second mark should hold true. So with that said, obviously healing of any kind is going to be good, but anything equal or below that 50 mark is going to feel much weaker, and then things above should still feel super strong. I did also mention in the beginning of the video that there could be a way to get up to 78 HP per second, and that would obviously be by combining Restoration times 2 with Well of Life after the nerf. This would give us 65 from Resto and then the other 13 from Well of Life itself, which is almost exactly where Restoration Times 2 currently is. So this would in essence negate the nerf. However, Bungie did mention that Restoration will no longer stack with Healing Rifts. And included in that, they mentioned that the stronger heal over time value is now prioritized. So if this is a universal change and it also applies to Well of Life, this would mean that stacking wouldn't be possible and that we would only be able to reach 65 with Times 2. All of that being said, when the change does roll out in Season 19, I will definitely add Restoration to my list for testing, and I do currently have some builds for Warlocks that revolve around times 2 so I'll definitely go back and rework those if need be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you a personal fan of the change, or are you not a fan? And what do you think will remain strong in next season for endgame content? I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch, so if you guys do ever want to watch some low mans and speedruns live, a link to that is in the description below, along with my Discord server if you do ever want to get involved with the community we have over there. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.